So let's get on with the programme and meet our, our very first guest <laughs> tonight. Um, it could be the curious case of the body in the window. Have you got here to do? Well, I'll tell you what, Seymour, why don't you go up and do a little errand for me? Could you pop down the store and could you perhaps get me a can of tartan paint, <laughs> uh, a glass hammer and a bucket of steam? Could you do that for us? OK, off you go then. Seymour, the stores are that way. There you go, OK. It's just our little joke, ladies and gentlemen. With the emphasis on little, of course. It's something we all have to do when we join the show. Uh, and, of course, just a little bit of harmless fun. Now, it's on with our first guest. It's the curious case of the body in the window, uh, because our first guest this evening was chosen by top mannequin maker Adele Lutstein uh, as the body to base a new range of mannequins on. She hopes to do with her for the 90s what Twiggy did for the 60s. Please welcome the shape of things to come, Diane Brill. <laughs> Oh, well, good. That's good, Evan. Something like that. Marvellous. Well, Hi. Well, hello. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you've been described as the shape of the 90s. I've seen a lot of press on that. So what, what shape are we actually talking about here? What, what are your measurements? Measurements? Mm -hmm. Shape is like this. Measurements are uh, 39, 23, uh, 38 and a half. You're not sure about the last one? 39. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. yeah, well, uh, is that all well, or have you been surgically enhanced in any way? Uh, no, no, that's natural. <laughs> it's all there. That's like my hairdo. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, there's a lot of lacquer in there, and almost right. as much as Arthur Scargill. <laughs> very similar hairstyle, like in fact, yes. Thank you. Now, you're, you're obviously you're a very voluptuous woman, as that's I'm for trying sure. to see from here, and you're, you're Rubenesque, I guess, would be a way. <laughs> Has that ever caused any problems for you? Is that difficult? Well, it's amazing, it's wonderful, because there's no question when you see me that you know that I'm a woman. That I don't have to be, right? <laughs> My woman? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and that's a man, right? We know that's right. It didn't work this time. No, no, he's not oh. awake. He's, uh, you, you're obviously not his type. Yeah. Oops. But a few years ago, because the slim look was in, that's what everyone knows. Sure. And, and when Absolutely. most of the models you see on the catwalks are pretty slim, did that not cause anymore. any problems for you? Did, what did you do? Did you just. Well, listen, I, I went through every single body size that you can imagine. I've tried everything. But I think what it is is that I don't represent, not necessarily that every woman has to look like me, but I am the freedom of choice. Are you really? Yes. <laughs> that means a woman that look like me that think that they're not attractive or think they're fat, I'm telling them they're gorgeous. I'm telling their men that they're gorgeous too. But I must admit, they are, I very much doubt if there are a lot of women who look like you do who think they're not... Absolutely! They're like. even in the audience. Absolutely. Where? There. You're joking. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Okay. But, uh, well, let me, let's have a look at the mannequin. Can we bring the mannequin out? Because, of course, this is going to be coming to a shop window near you in the near future. At least we certainly hope so. Oh, my God. Um, and this is... Now, how do you make some of this? Do you have to... Do you get covered in plaster or something? Or do you model... Well, the, just... they, they cast certain bits, John, and then they sculpt others. That's marvellous. You don't yeah. do them in foam, do you? Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 He's bad. They told me you were bad. But, uh, goodness me. Um, I brought you a surprise. It must be kind of weird seeing yourself, isn't it? I mean, isn't it strange to see yourself in 3D, a kind of life-size model? This is my Dorian Gray, because in the year 2000, when I was the body of the 90s, she's going to age, but I will remain timeless. That's very nice yeah. enough. Any other way you intend to ex exploit your physique? Uh, I know, do you have, a, you have a line of bras planned, I believe? All right, no, no, no. I'm in, a, I'm in a film called Blaze with Paul Newman. But, what, but let's go back to the bras, Diane. Bras? You know, the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you always yeah, want you, to talk about bras. We know we can get the plug in in a minute. <laughs> right, okay. Blaze, Blaze, go see it. But you have a line of bras, is that right? No, no, I have a bra that I've designed that isn't manufactured. Oh, you just have the one bra then, so that's that out the window. <laughs> that's right. No, it's all. Okay. What do you think? What about now? I've heard that you've also gone into the confectionery business. <gasps> yes, and a brought your surprise. Let's have a look. Ready for this? This is a Brill baby. Enjoy so, what is this then? This is a sweet based on you as well. This is a little tiny giant. You need to say chocolate. not life size. Let's have a look. Well, my word, let's show that to the camera. Have a bite. It's all sticky. Have a look at that. <laughs> Adele Rootstein Brill baby. <laughs> Good heavens. The zero seems to be slightly bigger. <laughs> well, once again, this must God. be odd, because here you've got this mannequin. It must be odd knowing there are lots of strangers out there eating you. Oh, my God. I don't think about these things, John. I don't think about these things. What about all the ones that are undressing me, huh? Well, that, but once Not again, just with their eyes. Literally, but did, did, huh? I mean, did you, have to, did you have to think long and hard before doing it, or was it just like a natural career move for you? Two weeks did it. You just you're next. Re you re <laughs> for what, I wonder? <laughs> now, you also, you're a catwalk model, I know. Sure. As well, mm -hmm. Which, once again, I'm normally used to seeing photographs from, like, the fashion shows, and it's the very slender look. And uh, are there lots of um, abundant women out there as the well? The women that aren't built like me are often getting enhanced, or the designers are de designing things that make a woman look more feminine. The feminine ideal. 
And like so, this. Now, what about women then, the slimmer women out there who might, I mean, if you are indeed the look of the 90s, and personally I have no objections to that, then um, there might be women who, who obviously don't look Men like this. Men like this, right? I'm um, what did she? Yeah, okay. I don't think that they would object at all, but I mean, it's not, it's not the only way to look now, is no, it? No, absolutely not. No. Freedom of choice. I represent a, like a mascot, you know, like Twiggy was a mascot of the 60s, I'm the mascot in the 90s. I'm the extreme of a look. Well, now, you're, you're quite well known, you're known on the, like the New York circuit and you're getting sure. known of it. But it, it's films, almost... films, back to Blaze. Let's not get back to Blaze. Okay. Just, I'd rather talk about the, the one bar again. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it is almost entirely based on the way you look and it was a very superficial way to sort of like make your living. Does that not bother you at all? I'm writing a book. Oh, you're writing a book as well? Uh -huh. It's got what? a great title. It's a handbook for women. Meeting great guys, dating, romancing, seducing. It's called Boobs, Boys, High Heels, or How to Get Dressed in Just Under Six Hours. Well, sounds deep. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, so you'll see it. We'll love it. <laughs> Smart ass. You'll love it. Well, when will that be out then? <laughs> so, um, in about a year's time, Viking Penguin. So how do you actually survive then? I mean, because obviously this can't pay your bills. I mean, what do you actually do for... Sort of... I act, I model, and it works out. It works out very You've well. You've never made a film by any chance, have you? Yes. <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. John, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a bite, then. Actually, I've been looking forward to sinking my teeth in the leaves all day, I must have. It's very good. <laughs> How am I? I've told you better. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> oh, yeah. Try another bite. Maybe you'll uh, change your mind. Uh, one at a time, please. And this is coming to you in International Women's Week, guys. Right, wait a second. Under. You guys try some of these, okay? What are you, you doing now? Come on, behave yourself. You tell me, more. okay? You tell me. Oh, How do you like your Brill Babies? <laughs> one more. I got one more. Brill Babies. You tell me what it tastes like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've made quite an exhibition of yourself. Now That's sit down right. and behave. Good heavens. Oh, dear. OK, well, well now, I'm mean, running out, we will talk about the film. <laughs> now, you made the movie, it was with Paul Newman. This was a genuine, yes. legitimate movie. Eyes like yours. And what, what was as he like? Blue as yours. What's Paul Newman like, then? Is he a nice fella? Good. Yeah, good. Professional. And Helpful. What did you, you played a stripper in the movie, didn't you? Yes, yes. And so, uh, but I don't actually strip. Why not? I didn't have to. I didn't have to. But he'd have to wear pasties. All that eyelash glue. Oh, what glue. are pasties? Oh, it's the eyelash glue. They take the little tiny glitter thing, and they put them here and there. Eyelash glue on your nipples, and that? Uh, or so, yes. Must be horribly uncomfortable, isn't it? No, you don't feel it. You get used to it. And you wear them at any other time? Or just I'm not them? wearing them now. Oh, good. I'm very pleased. <laughs> yeah, that's very nice. So the, we can look forward to seeing these in shop windows up and down the country. Absolutely. In the near future. I read a Harrods, something. they're in Harrods already. This was going to be a limited edition, I believe, but it isn't. And not anymore. They're doing very well, so they're going to be all over the country. So we can look out to seeing you out and about. Right. Oh, my and God. Marvellous. And this one is for studio use. Yes, studio use Lovely. only. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. <laughs> Thank you. You're and great. you play to the gallery shamelessly. <laughs> right. But Oops. you're welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank Diane you. Brill. Okay. Thank you. Okay, it's time for a bit of music now.